Emerging from deep underground and far in the past, a sarcophagus sees light for the first time in more than 4,000 years. I put my head inside to see what could be inside the sarcophagus. If you think you've seen it all when it comes to the wonders of Egypt, get ready to be shocked out of your bones. A shocking discovery has recently been unearthed in Egypt, leaving scientists and archaeologists in awe. Here we are talking of over 59 sarcophagi dating about 2,500 years old, which were so mysterious that they were never found or unsealed for millennials. What mystery lies behind this discovery? How will this discovery affect the world? Let's find out. No one expected it when a team of archaeologists unearthed an astonishingly well-preserved group of coffins found to date as far back as 2,500 years old, which is quite rare. The discovery in question was made in 2020 in Saqqara. This vast ancient land has long served as the burial site and cemetery of the ancient city of Memphis. According to the Tourism and Antiquities Minister, this discovery is massive, not just in implications but also in numbers, as the coffins discovered are not few. As a part of this discovery, about 59 wooden coffins were recovered, and their age has since sent everyone talking. Looking at what Egypt could have been like about 2,500 years ago says a lot about these mummies and how old they are. It also helps us understand how groundbreaking this is in detail. Following the statement of the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, the period to which these sarcophagi date back aligns with the era of the Ptolemaic dynasty, known to have ruled Egypt for about 300 years, historically dating back to between 320 BC to 30 and the late period from 664 to 332 BC. The period between 320 and 30 BC was tumultuous in Egyptian history, marked by political instability, foreign invasions, and economic challenges. However, it was also a period of significant cultural and intellectual flourishing. This was when Egypt fell under the control of the Ptolemaic dynasty, a Greek ruling family. Now imagine the discovered mummies existing when the Ptolemies were determined to maintain their grip on Egypt and be actively involved in the struggles of that time. Despite the political turmoil of the time, there were other good things about this period, as Egypt also experienced significant economic growth during the Ptolemaic period. The late period also witnessed a flourishing of Egyptian literature and art. Hieroglyphics remained in use, and new forms of writing such as Demotic and Coptic emerged. Egyptian artists produced exquisite sculptures, paintings, and jewelry. Indeed, all of these features of the period could be easily seen from the designs of the discovered sarcophagi and the artifacts found alongside them. Counting down from those ancient eras till now, it is fantastic to know that the recently discovered caskets had been sealed for millennia without tampering and opening until archaeologists found them. This discovery is already massive for archaeologists, but things do not stop here as something even more shocking has recently happened. Following the discovery, two of these ancient sarcophagi have been opened for the first time since being buried. What was found inside them was shocking. The case of the first coffins was opened live during a makeshift exhibit at the well-known Steppe Pyramid of Jose at Saqqara, where multitudes of people were present as witnesses. In a video covering the event, the archaeologists can be seen carefully opening up the ancient coffins, revealing an ancient mummy millennia old, but shockingly well-preserved and well-wrapped in burial clothes covered in Egyptian hieroglyphic inscriptions in bright colors. This was already thrilling enough to see, but to convince the audience even more, the archaeologists had to do more. In that same event, scanning and x-ray sessions were conducted on the spot, leading to the unraveling of a massive discovery. Here, the mummy's authenticity was soon proven, and so was his identity, amazing all who beheld. Right before everyone was present at the exhibit, results revealed that the mummy, indeed, was that of an ancient man who had died between the age of 40 and 45 about 2,500 years ago. He was said to be about 5 feet 4 and 5 feet 7 in height. Though the actual cause of his death was not known at the time, scientists were able to find or figure out that he was in perfect health at that time of his death. The events soon caught the attention of many because this was that very first time that an X-ray had been done on an Egyptian sarcophagus while everyone watched. The excitement of this discovery has been massive, thus there were more unveilings to do.
At another October conference, Egyptian officials opened another one of these coffins right on stage, sending an uproar among the multitude. But here, one question remains. Who were these people, and how were they buried in the discovered shafts? Judging from this ornaments of the mummies as well as their mode of burial, the researchers were able to understand that the coffins were ancient nobles of that land at the time of their death. The mummy in particular, which had been opened publicly, was found buried with his arms crossed over his chest, and this was a known symbol of royalty in the Egyptian culture. Again, the coffins in that mummies were buried or richly decorated with many Egyptian hieroglyphs all over their bodies, also displaying the wealthy status of the deceased. To crown it all up, Apart from the elaborate coffins and how the mummies had been buried, more additional materials have also been discovered alongside the sealed coffins, providing archaeologists with more information on the deceased people whose bodies have been recovered. Here we are talking about various Egyptian artifacts, including gilded statues and funerary masks from the shafts where the coffins were recovered. Archaeologists are, of course, very excited about this discovery because it reveals a lot about the Egyptian community's civilizations and way of life at the time. The finding is phenomenal, displaying one of the rare events through which archaeologists have been able to glimpse the ancient past of the Egyptian community. But how did the discovery happen in the first place? Suppose there is one exciting thing that should be known about Egypt today. In that case, it is the fact that it is a location that incredibly sustains the interest of archaeologists, historians, scientists, and even the rest of the world continually. Because of this, it is a site that has been subject to constant scrutiny researchers and even excavation by archaeologists, who are determined to discover new thing that might help us understand the land, the people and their past better. Thankfully, while carrying out actions in line with this cultivation, archaeologists stumbled upon something shocking in 2020. Here, the two 500-year-old coffins, mainly containing mummies, were discovered in a large burial site in Saqqara, the necropolis of Memphis now considered a famous UNESCO World Heritage Site. But how exactly did the mummy get there? It is not strange that this kind of discovery should be found here in Saqqara, as it is a burial site known to have been actively used for thousands of years. Saqqara, about 30 kilometers southwest of Cairo, is renowned for its numerous pyramids, tombs, and temples. Its history dates back to the early dynastic period in 3100 BCE, and continued to be used as a burial site throughout Egypt's long history. The most famous landmark at Saqqara is the Pyramid of Djoser, built for the third dynasty king Djoser around 2650 BCE. This pyramid is considered a masterpiece of ancient Egyptian architecture. It is significant for its innovative stepped pyramid design, believed to have inspired the construction of later true pyramids. The name Saqqara is derived from the ancient Egyptian funerary deity Sokar, which is associated with the mummification process and the afterlife. This connection is supported by a temple dedicated to Sokar at Saqqara. Saqqara is a fascinating and essential site for understanding ancient Egyptian civilization. Its vast cemetery offers a glimpse into the ancient Egyptians' beliefs, practices, and art. In 1979, Saqqara was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, along with the Pyramids of Giza and the Memphis Necropolis. In Saqqara, the recent discovery of the 59 caskets was not made in a single day. Instead, 13 of the coffins were said to have been discovered first. Three weeks after its announcement, the others were found in shafts, which were said to be about 12 meters or 40 feet deep. The coffins were found to be stacked upon one another, and according to the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, more coffins might be on the site, which has not yet been discovered. Indeed, the discovery of well-preserved mummies in Egypt speaks volumes of the great mysteries surrounding Egyptian culture from ancient times. In line with this, Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Court of Antiquities, even expresses his joy by saying, We are pleased about this discovery. Egypt is a country that has always amazed the world, even from ancient times, from its super-advanced ancient civilization to its magnificent structures and wonders, which include its towering pyramids. There are many unexplainable phenomena that Egypt's ancient civilization presents, and they remain a mystery to the modern world. Among these many mysteries is how they preserve their dead in ways that cannot be found elsewhere. Recently, numerous cases of the discovery of long-preserved mummies have sufficed in different shapes, sizes, and timelines. In the past two years, 
Over 146 sealed sarcophagi have been revealed by the authorities to have been discovered in just Saqqara alone. Early this year, the oldest long-preserved mummy was found near the Steppe Pyramid of Saqqara, near the capital city of Cairo. The mummy was found in a pharaonic tomb and has since sent shockwaves across the community of archaeologists, especially after scientists had revealed the age of the mummy. According to carbon dating, the mummy is said to be about 4,300 years old. It has thus been declared the most complete and oldest mummy ever discovered in the country. It will amaze you where this mummy was found and in what state it was located. It was discovered at the very bottom of a 15 m or 49 feet deep shaft during a recent archaeological expedition that excavated a series of tombs that dated back to the 5th and 6th dynasty, the Egyptian Old Kingdom. Of course, it took an expert like Zahi Hawass to direct the team into leading such a remarkable expedition. According to him, the mummy belongs to an ancient Egyptian man named Hakashapes, who was found to be covered in gold leaf and was, in fact, in a casket made out of limestone which was sealed in mortar. Also, among the recently discovered long-preserved ancient sarcophagi belongs to a man whose name had resulted in history as an essential figure. Here we are talking about Kanumjadef, who during the 5th dynasty was said to be an inspector of officials, a supervisor of nobles, and a priest during the reign of the last pharaoh of the 5th dynasty named Unas. Recently, the preserved mummy of the keeper of the secrets and assistant to the great palace leader was also discovered. In ancient Egypt, the secret keeper was a role played by a very highly placed official in the palace. Acting in this role, the secret keeper has the power to perform sacred religious rites and rituals, thus making him a significant figure in the land. The term belonging to a priest and a judge has also been recently discovered. They are said to have been found in Pharaoh Pepe I's pyramid complex. The cases are indeed numerous, but here, among these thrilling discoveries of well-preserved ancient tombs and mummies, something stands out, and it is simply that the ancient Egyptians seem to have an eye for beauty. We say this because one thing is common among most of the sarcophagi that have been discovered, how well decorated they always are, being well gilded and well painted. Indeed, the cases of finding long-preserved mummies that sometimes date as far back as thousands of years ago can only be found in Egypt. And you might wonder why there are so many well-preserved mummies in Egypt. What is the mystery behind the well-preserved mummies in Egypt? To answer this question, we will have to consider some of the core belief systems of the Egyptian people from ancient times. So, why do Egyptians preserve their dead the way they do? The ancient Egyptians held a deep and complex belief system about the afterlife, and mummification played a central role in their understanding of life after death. They believed that the soul, or Ba, was immortal and would embark on a journey through the afterlife, where it would be reunited with the deceased's physical body. This reunification was essential for the BA to exist permanently in perpetuity and enjoy all the pleasures it had earned. Mummification, therefore, was seen as a crucial step in ensuring the individual's eternal well-being. By preserving the body in a lifelike form, the Egyptians believed they gave the BA a recognizable vessel to inhabit in the afterlife. This allowed the Ba to continue interacting with the material world, engaging in its familiar activities, and receiving offerings from loved ones. The complex mummification process involved intricate steps, often taking several weeks or months to complete. These steps aim to remove moisture from the body, dry out organs, and apply various substances to preserve the tissues. The heart, considered the seat of the soul, was left in place, while other organs were carefully preserved and stored in canopic jars. Mummification was not a practice reserved for royalty or the elite. Over time, it became increasingly accessible to people of all social classes. This reflects the Egyptians' deep-rooted belief in the afterlife and desire to ensure everyone could enjoy eternal life. The meticulous and elaborate nature of mummification underscores the Egyptians' profound respect for the dead and their unwavering faith in the afterlife. Mummification was not merely a preservation technique, but a symbolic representation of the Egyptians' belief system and their enduring fascination with the mysteries of death and the afterlife. Indeed, the ancient Egyptians had a complex and elaborate belief system about the afterlife, 
which played a massive role in their daily activities and influenced their art, architecture, and funerary practices. They believed that the afterlife was not a single monolithic realm, but a diverse and multifaceted landscape that offered rewards and challenges for the deceased. According to Egyptian mythology, when a person dies, their soul or bay would embark on a perilous journey to the afterlife. This journey was fraught with dangers and obstacles, and the bay had to overcome various trials and tribulations to reach its ultimate destination. The Ba's first stop was the underworld, known as Duat. The Duat was a vast and mysterious realm with dangers, including monstrous creatures, treacherous waterways, and fearsome gods. Navigating this dangerous landscape, the Ba required the assistance of various deities, including Anubis, the jackal-headed god of embalming, and Thoth, the ibis-headed god of knowledge. The most crucial moment in the Ba's journey was weighing the heart. This judgment occurred in the Hall of Truth, where the Ba's heart was weighed against the Feather of Truth, representing Mat, the Egyptian concept of cosmic order and balance. If the heart was lighter than the feather, the Ba was deemed pure and worthy of entering the Field of Reeds, a paradise filled with abundance and happiness. However, if the heart was heavier than the feather, it was devoured by Amit, a monstrous creature with the head of a crocodile, a lion's body, and a hippopotamus's hindquarters. This signified that the B.A. had committed sins in life and was not worthy of eternal life. The Field of Reeds, or Aru, was the Egyptians' ideal afterlife. It was a fertile and bountiful land where the Ba could continue to enjoy the pleasures of life on earth, including farming, hunting, and feasting. The Field of Reeds was often depicted in Egyptian tomb paintings and funerary texts as a tranquil and idyllic place. Upon reaching the Field of Reeds, the Ba would reunite with its Ka, a spiritual double representing the life force. The Ka had remained in the tomb, attached to the preserved body, and was essential for the Ba's continued existence in the afterlife. The reunited Ba and Ka would then live out eternity in the Field of Reeds, enjoying a life of happiness and prosperity. The Egyptians' belief in the afterlife profoundly impacted their daily lives and shaped their society in many ways. It motivated them to live a moral and virtuous life, believing their actions would be judged in the afterlife. It also inspired them to create elaborate tombs and funerary objects to ensure the well-being of their deceased loved ones in the afterlife. The Egyptians' fascination with the afterlife is evident in their rich mythology, art, and architecture. Their belief system provided them with comfort and hope in the face of death and helped them make sense of the mysteries of life and the universe. From all that has been said, it can be seen that for the Egyptians, Preserving the bodies of their dead is a very intricate part of their culture that doesn't even end with just humans. Historically, Egyptians are known to not only faithfully preserve the bodies of their human dead, but also that of their animals. It will interest you to understand why. The ancient Egyptians mummified animals for various reasons deeply rooted in their religious beliefs and cultural practices. First, Many animals held special significance in Egyptian mythology and were associated with specific deities. For instance, cats were revered as sacred to Bastet, the goddess of cats, childbirth, and protection. Similarly, ibises were associated with Thoth, the god of wisdom and knowledge, and crocodiles were linked to Sobek, the god of the Nile River and fertility. The Egyptians believed that mummifying these sacred animals would honor the deities they represented and ensure their continued blessings. Secondly, animal mummies were often used as offerings in temples and religious ceremonies. They were presented to the gods as a way to show reverence and gratitude, and they also served as intermediaries between the human world and the divine realm. Mummified animals were believed to possess spiritual power. They could act as messengers to the gods, carrying prayers and requests on behalf of the worshippers. Also, we must mention that pets played an essential role in Egyptian society, and many people developed strong emotional bonds with their animal companions. Thus, when a beloved pet passed away, the Egyptians would mummify it to honor their memory and ensure their continued existence in the afterlife. It was considered a gesture of love and respect to provide a preserved body for their pet to inhabit in the next world. 
Some animal mummies held specific symbolic meanings or were used for specific rituals. For example, the mummification of falcons may have been associated with falconry. In contrast, the mummification of crocodiles may have been linked to the practice of crocodile divination. These practices demonstrate the Egyptians' deep connection to the natural world and belief that animals held spiritual significance. Ultimately, the Egyptians' practice of animal mummification was driven by a complex interplay of religious beliefs, cultural traditions, and economic considerations. It reflected their deep reverence for animals, their faith in the afterlife, and their desire to ensure the well-being of their loved ones in both the physical and spiritual realms. Consequently, archaeologists have not only recently recovered human mummies in Saqqara, but have also come to find that there are animal mummies buried in Saqqara and have yet to uncover the well. In November 2019, one of the most surprising discoveries of mummified animals was brought to light. Here, archaeologists discovered mummified animals in their multitudes in the region. The find included hundreds of cats, crocodiles, cobras, and most notably, two lion cubs, the first of their kind ever found in Egypt. The discovery was made during excavations in a hidden chamber within an extensive burial complex dating back to the late period of ancient Egypt. The animal mummies were found carefully preserved in wooden caskets and niches, adorned with painted decorations and hieroglyphics. The lion cubs, estimated to be around eight months old at their death, were particularly significant as they represented the first evidence of lion mummification in ancient Egypt. Lions were esteemed as symbols of royalty and strength, and their mummification likely held deep religious and cultural significance. The other animal mummies, including cats, crocodiles, and cobras, were also highly valued in ancient Egyptian society. Cats were worshipped as sacred animals associated with the goddess Bastet, while crocodiles were linked to the god Sobek. Cobras were feared and respected, associated with the goddess Wajit, protector of the pharaohs. The discovery of these mummified animals provides valuable insights into the ancient Egyptians' beliefs and practices regarding the afterlife. They believed that preserving the bodies of animals would ensure their continued existence and well-being in the next world. Thankfully, recent times have seen scientists greatly progress in their understanding of the Egyptian preservation process, and this has only been possible because of the studies necessitated by the recent discoveries of preserved mummies. But what is the fate of the sarcophagi that has now been found, and what implications might this have? There is no doubt that the recent discovery of these well-preserved two 500-year-old Egyptian mummies has become a national treasure to archaeologists and scientists. It will not be easily let go of any time soon. The recent statement by the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, Khaled El Anani, has shed some light on the possible future of the discovered coffins. According to his statement in a news conference, the discovered mummies, alongside the artifacts retrieved, will be gifted and moved to at least three museums in Cairo. This includes the famous Grand Egyptian Museum near the Pyramids of Giza. As exciting as this sounds, this is a significant point of controversy as a portion of the public does not consider it morally right that these mummies should become an object of public display in museums. According to them, the bodies of the deceased should at least be respected and left in their last resting place and not disturbed or kept in museums for the sake of attracting tourists and media. While this line of thought is driven by the sheer desire for morally right things to be done, other concerns have come up on the dire consequence of opening up tombs, including the incurred curses. The ancient Egyptians believed that opening tombs would bring bad luck or even death to those who did so. This belief was based on the idea that the deceased pharaohs and other important figures were still influential in the afterlife and could unleash their wrath upon anyone who disturbed their resting places. Several examples of tomb curses have been found in ancient Egyptian texts. One well-known example is the curse from the tomb of Tutankhamun, which reads, Death cometh swiftly to him that touches the tomb of the pharaoh. While there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of tomb curses, the belief in them has persisted for centuries. This is likely because misfortune or death often follows tomb openings. For example, Lord Carnarvon, who sponsored the excavation of Tutankhamun's tomb, died five months after the tomb was opened. 
This led many people to believe that he had been cursed by Tutankhamun's spirit. Even today, many people believe tomb curses are real and fear that archaeologists excavating these recently discovered tombs might incur the curse. It is important to note that the belief in tomb curses is not limited to ancient Egypt. Similar ideas have been found in other cultures around the world. For example, the Chinese believe that opening graves can disturb the spirits of the dead and bring misfortune upon the living. However, as scary as this sounds, we can't say if this curse exists, but we can only pray that they don't. Ultimately, with this recent discovery being the latest discovery made in Saqqara with its many mysteries, it will remain a topic of discussion on the lips of many for a long time. Moving these mummies alongside the artifacts discovered in the museums in Cairo is only possible because of how well they have been preserved, thus making their display in these museums possible. Indeed, both mummies and the artifacts retrieved from the burial site have been astonishingly well maintained. Sadly, the identity of most of these mummies has not been ascertained. Scientists are currently working hand-in-hand -hand with an archaeologist and researchers to find out as much as they can about these mummies that have been discovered. Thus, even though these ancient mummies will now be moved to the museums in Cairo, where they will be on display, the world can rest assured that more information concerning them will be revealed to the public as time goes on. Indeed, scientists still need to unravel the mysteries behind this discovery, and we can only anticipate what the future holds as more tests and research continue. We've come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. What do you think about the recent discovery in Saqqara? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.